so rude of me but I'm starving this is um, something called an ajapurria it's like a fried beef kind of thing um, I believe it's like from Puerto Rico I'm Puerto Rican I should know this right I think it's a Puerto Rican kind of thing um, I was craving for this so I just went I drove into like the hood Oh, I got a burp. And I went and I got some. All worth it. Nothing wrong with the hood. <laughs> actually, where this restaurant is, I actually grew up when I was younger. It's called El, Mur El Mori Vivi. It's so good. And I love to have cola champagne with it. It's like a sweet soda, which is so bad. But um, as you guys could see by the title... I've been going through some things. I've been gone for a really long time. Um, I've been dealing with something that I've never really dealt with before when it comes to mental health. So the first few minutes of this video, I'm just gonna explain what's been going on with me and then we'll go like right into my daily vlog. Today is, uh, I wanna say September, 14th or 13th one of those it's Friday Friday the 13th it's Friday September 13th oh gosh I forgot it's Friday the 13th but let's just say around August 1st that's where my life kind of went upside down um it all started in the beginning of August one day I was in the shower and I was washing my hair and I noticed clumps of hair was coming out that's never happened to me before. And I started panicking in a shower. I was like, I, I normally lose a lot of hair when I wash my hair or brush my hair, but this was at least five times more hair. Like just when I touched it, a clumps of hair would come out. Thank God I still have, I mean, I have a head full of hair still, but um, I got out the shower and I started looking in the mirror and I started combing my hair and hair was just coming out on the comb. And then I started panicking and having an anxiety attack because I never, this has never happened to me before. So the more I touched my hair, the more my hair would come out. Started August 1st. Um, I started looking in my hair. I'll, I'll try to show pictures. Um, my hair is thinning and I'm losing a lot of hair. Um, my hairline is getting wider and it's mainly happening in the front of my head so I'm very gentle like you can't really you see that once I start lifting my hair um you'll see the thinning and kind of the spots where I'm losing a lot of hair anyway so that put me because obviously something's happening in my body right that I don't know what's happening so that put me in a huge anxiety panic attack depression because I thought something's wrong with me I, I don't know what's happening um then I started getting symptoms um it felt like my scalp had a sunburn sensation and I was very itchy and I also felt like that on top of my arms and stuff long story short I ended up in the month of August in the emergency room three times um I thought I had like a scalp infection I was wrongly diagnosed with tinea um, given medication that I had an allergic reaction to so I ended up in the ER again and then a week passed symptoms proceed and then I en ended up in the ER again because of side effects of the medication it was like making my body twitch so ended up going to the dermatop going to my primary care got blood work for like what makes your hair like got blood work for things that can make your hair loss like thyroid and vitamin D deficiency and stuff like that everything came back normal my primary care referred me to a dermatologist sorry if I'm talking fast I'm just trying to speed like catch you up what's been happening with me went to my dermatologist he kind of made me feel really bad he's like you have a head full of hair and I'm like I know I have a head full of hair but once you start lifting my hair you'll see at the root everything's thinning look at these pictures I have pictures of handful of my hand is full of hair every time I wash it when I touch it and he's like looks like you 
pull your hair back in a ponytail really tight and that's why you're losing your hair. And I'm like, sir, I never put my hair in a ponytail. My hair's always down. So he just wasn't understanding. He's like, then he told me, um, after I said that, he goes, maybe you need to go home and sit and think about it because stress could make your hair get lost. So I went home, I did a lot of research and it turns out I think I have this thing called telogen Ufleum, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's when you lose your hair due to stress. Um, April, okay, I've never been this stressed my whole life, but when April came around and I put my house on the market to be sold, sold my house faster than I thought and then had to move in with my in-laws for two months because I didn't have a house to move into, the whole summer I was just stress, anxiety, I had heart palpitations. So I'm like, okay, when you have telogen Ufleum, if I'm saying that correctly, you start losing your hair two to three months after the initial shock to your body. So this is what I think is happening to me that um, I had such a stressful summer. Now my hair is in the telogen phase. I believe that's what it's called when it won't grow for like three to six months and I'm just going to be losing hair. <sighs> Anyways, I'm sitting outside the doctor now I'm gonna go see an endocrinologist because my dermatologist did blood work. And um, he says he doesn't think this is why I'm losing my hair, but my thyroid blood level spiked a little bit. So he, as a doctor, he has to refer me just to be safe. So I'm gonna see an endocrine doctor now in a couple minutes and talk about it. I mean, I don't think I have thyroid issues. I truly believe it's stress, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So with that being said, August, you know, I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to lose more hair. Am I going to have to buy a wig? I almost, I was so stressed about it that I even almost called off my daughter's uh, third birthday party, which would, which would have been devastating for me. But I, at that time in August, her birthday was August 24th. I didn't want to be around people. I ended up having her birthday party, but putting like a fake smile on because it was my daughter's birthday. But I really felt like crap and just wanted to go home in bed. Pretty much the whole month of August, I've been home. I was home in bed depressed because guys, I know it's just hair, but like it's something that I can't explain. It's very devastating. You know, it's just, it's a devastating feeling to not have control over my body, but that's, what's been going on with me. And that's why I've been gone for such a long time. Um, but I'm getting better. Like I accepted the fact that I'm losing hair and I think that's what you have to do in order to try to push forward and move on um from what i read online i could be shedding and losing hair for up to six months and then once my stress levels go back to normal and my hair cycle changes then i'll start hopefully having regrowth so i'm just trying to stay busy at work and at home and um focusing on getting better rather than getting worse so mental health I never had to deal with like personal issues and anxiety and like panic attacks before let me chew this I'm sorry right here but yeah um I never understood when people would talk about mental health and stuff I would be like just get over it and be happy but it's not easy it's not easy to do that as I'm learning I just got out of the mall I um went to the children's place and got Gianna a bunch of um like fall clothing even though it's still warm out like today's nice like it's sweater weather but um I'm sure once October hits, it's gonna start getting a little chilly. So I'm, I got her a bunch of leggings and long sleeves. I'll show you guys when I get home. But you know what? I'm gonna run into this appointment and I'll catch you guys up shortly. So I'm leaving the doctors right now and my thyroid looks fine. So must be stress. So I picked up Gianna after my appointment and um, now I'm home 
basically the endocrinologist doctor is going to follow up with me in three months. I'm going to be doing blood work again in a couple of weeks just to make sure my stop at Layla stop. She's sniffing me. Just to make sure that my thyroid levels never change, but everything looks normal. She said it totally could be stress. That's related to my hair loss. Um, and usually hair cycles don't change for three to six months. So I could be losing hair for the next three to six months. So what I'm gonna do is just try to write it out and try to keep my stress in order and pray and hope that it gets better. But anyways, on a more positive note, everything um, I got for Gianna from the children's place, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you. So the children's place had, um, if you spend $80, they'll give you 40% off your purchase. I ended up spending $209, but paid $130 for all of this. I just wanted to prep her for the fall. She needed like long sleeves and like leggings. Got her this long sleeve shirt that says, today I want to be a princess, not a unicorn. Um, this cute little shirt with a baby fox and a mama fox. I got her two long sleeve sweaters with a heart and a lamb. Is that a lamb? I don't know, a unicorn. <laughs> got her two Halloween shirts because we're obsessed with Halloween in my house. They're so cute. They're both long sleeve. Got her um, black jean and gray leggings and then some tights to go under dresses. Some jeans and some pink jeans. They're both stretchy so they're comfortable. Um, three pajamas, mommy's mini, daddy's girl, and good night. She picked out while we were there this little unicorn thing. I don't know. She's such a girly girl. And then I got her like a black uh, fleece little sweat sweater for like the fall when it's like not too cold, but you need a sweater. And that's it. So I'm going to take off the tags and wash all of this. What I think I'm going to do, guys, because I feel like I've been talking a lot in this video, is I'm going to end this vlog here. Enough about my negativity and, like, mental health and everything that I've been going through. I want my next video that I upload to be more positive and upbeat. I am working on myself. I'm trying to get my health back on track, and I'm trying to feel better. Um, I want to be back on YouTube like I was regularly, posting three times a week. Just getting my energy back a little bit. Um... I'm gonna lay in my bed, listen to all the birds out there, edit this video now so it can be up by tonight. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up or if you're someone who suffered from like anxiety, struggle, hair loss, I would love to hear from you. Um, follow me on Instagram at VanessaPampa91 and I'll catch you guys in the next video.